Hello, I'm going to show you how to um, feed the custom properties from the meta in uh, the extra buttons. So if you go to settings, you will find the field in meta. Uh, actually, three three fields that uh, you can optionally have in audio items. And uh, you can name them whatever. And then, if you go to audio items, you can just see them there. We see here the new field. Name it as we previously set it. and we can input any value here now uh, let's find out how we can add the buttons and we go to the knowledge base for instructions And uh, this is a short code that we can add in the player configurations. So we go to player configurations, we create a new player configuration, and once we go to MISC, we can add uh, that button in any part of the player actually. And uh, you can see here that uh, we can replace the link with uh, that placeholder. And uh, now we can just create a playlist. And we can add the watermark item or whatever we have in the media library. And make sure you select the player configuration you just created with the extra buttons. And we can create a playlist with Gutenberg, select it. Now if we try it, you can see they are there, but uh, no value is there because we haven't set one for uh, that item. Now we go back to our audio items. And you can see for them, two audio items were created. And we can input uh, in link. I'll just take this one for example. Now, when we refresh, you can see the link is updated to the knowledge base. To our custom link and uh, this should be it yeah. another cool trick is that you can replace not only links but uh, the labels for example and you can take this here and uh, replace the label for example now we have the label 
replaced. This should be it.